What's up? You're in the Beat Sessions. I'm your host, Mitchell Weary. Descendants have released a brand new record entitled Ninth and Walnut. They did that on July 23rd. This is their eighth studio record. It is their follow-up to 2016's Hypercafium Spazinate. That album title seems long overdue for a band with this reputation. I used to think that Joey came from Lagwagon liked coffee a lot. And then I discovered the Descendants and the Bonus Cup. That is a crazy cup of coffee. Certainly has inspired a lot of fast-paced, intense songwriting from these guys. Lagwagon Face to Face actually were two of the first punk bands I ever got into. So it wasn't long before I was finally like, who are the Descendants? Major inspiration on those two bands. But, you know, a friend passed off Milo Goes to College. And it's no wonder that these guys are a major cornerstone of the California punk scene. Not only that, but they've inspired a number of other bands outside of the genre still to this day. They're absolutely incredible. That album combined fast-paced hardcore punk with great melodies. And that's what this band is known for and what they do so well. And that is what is so special about Ninth and Walnut. That is a reference to their first rehearsal space out in Long Beach, California. The origins of the band coming from that area. And this record also features the original lineup from Milo Goes to College. Frank Nevetta on guitar, Tony Lombardo on bass, Bill Stevens on drums, and Milo, of course, on vocals. But these songs are like 45 years in the making. This is incredible how this album came together. They were written back in the late 70s, early 80s, weren't recorded really until 2002, like 20 years later. And then 20 years after that, Milo finally lays some vocals down. And we have this record, which honestly sounds like it could have been a follow-up to Milo Goes to College. Like, if Milo hadn't actually been a nerd and gone to college... This could have been their second record easily. That's how awesome this thing sounds. Just that classic, fast pace, you know, one, one and a half, maybe two minute songwriting at the most. And you get all that classic, fun Descendants stuff. You get great love songs and you make me sick, baby, don't you know, and I need some. You know, they, they dabble into social issues, politics a little bit. You got their snarky sense of humor, which is great. Ride the Wild, Hectic World, couple of songs that they redid for this record. But this is just classic descendants and it's so nice that we didn't have to wait as long as we did for hypercapium spazzate because i think it was probably like maybe close to like two decades before we got that it was like 16 years or something so it's really great to have milo and the crew back i love that milo makes a feature on that album cover as he should this thing if you're a descendants fan you're just going to be so pleased with it and you're going to have so much fun this thing really brought me back to being a teenager getting into I mean, what would arguably be one of the most fun exploratory phases in my, you know, musical life. I really enjoyed getting into punk. I really enjoyed the way it opened me up to a lot of other different styles of music. Really got me into Iggy Pop and the Stooges down the road. All sorts of different stuff. So, uh, kudos to Descendants for coming back. Vinyl, please, on this. I hope you enjoy listening to this record. Please share this video, like it, subscribe to the channel. Check out the live show when it returns on September 12th. And we will see you next time on the Beat Sessions.